this is going to be your weekly love reading. Send the love and light to all. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to Embracing Mattress to anyone that has not been here and everyone that's returning. Thank you to everyone that has liked, shared, subscribed. If you hit the notification bell. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you purchased a reading or donated to the page, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. All right? If anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below. Can be masculine or feminine, could be about you, the person you're thinking of, or your cross watcher. Cross watchers, if you do not have any Pisces in your chart or around you, just know that Spirit brought you here for a message. Just hang out, okay? Take what you need, leave what you do not, okay? So, Pisces, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments and children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, you guys are releasing a relationship here. You guys are releasing a person. Slowly but surely. Okay. You may also want to ask someone for forgiveness. Slowly but surely. Children. Okay, are in your life. You may have been with this person that you've been with. Do some children. You may have new children. You may be immature. Your person may be immature. You may have childlike innocence with someone that you're thinking of as well. Right? You may have a childlike loyalty with someone that may be a, a soulmate to you. With these dogs here that's in this children's picture here. You do feel loyal to someone or something, but someone here is wearing a false mask. Someone is not moving uh, up on the up and up, right? Someone has a lot of hidden things, a lot of secrets, a lot of deception going on in their life, okay? Which brings things to an end because what happens is when people see or sense that they're, they're being played, you know, they get ghosts, right? People just leave it alone, which is uh, what's happening here. Right, so this is somebody's uh foundation, they have a real deceptive foundation. Someone has been moving, okay, in a home structure or a foundation in their life, they've been moving real greasy, just not moving right at all, May not being um, not being honest with anyone, just moving on their own accord. Right, this is a masculine here, whether it be masculine or feminine, whoever's in the masculine energy is the person that's been doing shit. Okay, this person wanted power and dominance. They wanted to run shit. They wanted to rule shit and rule people. This person. Right, this person could be a soulmate of yours. Okay, or someone could be thinking of a soulmate at this time. Right, someone's thinking of their future. Okay, someone's thinking of having a future with a soulmate. Someone could be trying to figure out how to not be as deceptive as they were. How do they present themselves to this soulmate that they're thinking of having a future with? All right? Someone's at a crossroads because they don't know what to do. Someone here does not know how to move forward. Someone here doesn't know how to speak to someone. Someone here doesn't know how to get themselves out of the rut that they're, they're in. Someone here may, may be sleeping terribly at night as well because they have this on their mind of how, yeah, they could have done someone dirty. Someone that could be a soulmate because they have kids with someone else. 
and someone that they're having a hard time releasing or that person that they're with is having a hard time releasing them. But they want to tell and they want to be okay. They want to tell this person. They want to tell this, this soulmate what's going on. This is what it's looking like to me. They want to tell the soulmate that they're part of their future, that they want them to be. Right? This person, the divination here. <clears throat> Could be getting spiritual downloads as well. Let's see what's going on here. One card. Thank you. Oh, it's more than one. Queen of Cups. Okay, so someone wants to be strong because they have some love to offer to someone else. They could be thinking about someone that offered love to them as well, right? They want to be loyal and be strong for someone that offered them love or this is you, okay? Take it how it resonates. I'm thinking that someone wants to offer love and loyalty to their soulmate after they did them dirty. And I, oh, I'm not taking those. After they did them dirty and uh, was not on the up and up. So it feels like, you know, they have someone that's very nurturing, that's very, you know, um, that gives them emotions that's open with their emotions. Whether it be masculine or feminine, someone is, is yearning for someone that nurtured them, that gave them love, that offered them a cup of love with no strings attached. And the person that offered them love probably didn't get anything back for it. And this is why this person wants to come right now. But this person is still releasing the past. So this may not happen right now. Okay, that's too many cards. Oh boy. Psychic ability, freedom, truth, fertility, compassion, and home. Lord help me. I'm just going to go ahead and do it because this is sitting with, I'm sorry, spirit. I'm going to do it. I apologize. Someone is gaining their intuition. Their intuition may be telling them, the universe may be telling them that they need to reach out to the soulmate. Okay. Right. Freedom is them breaking away from this relationship up here that they've been in. That they're trying to release. That someone may be holding on to them. We're going to get the, the actual meanings for these cards. But intuitively, this is what I'm getting. There's a truth to be told here. The truth is that someone was being deceptive. And they want to tell the soulmate that they're thinking of. That they want to be with. The soulmate that they see them ha themselves having a future with. And the person that they want to be strong for and loyal to. This person that offered them love and probably was breadcrumb before. They want to give them the truth about child. Are about children okay and someone that they had these children with whether it be one or two people they want this person that they're coming to the soulmate to have compassion for them right they're hoping that the person has compassion for them and can move into being in a happy home a happy happy foundation a happy structure we have home out here twice Okay, spirit of the dwelling place, home structure foundation, and the home card here. <sighs> psychic abilities, trust your psychic gifts. Join a circle to open up your spiritual communication. A clairvoyant confirms the answers you seek. Your intuition is correct. This is your path. Right? Someone is being told to trust their intuition because their intuition may be bringing them towards a soulmate that they're not with right now. You have the freedom card.
step into your authenticity trust your intuition and go with what feels right exercise your freedom of speech release judgment of yourself and others your destiny waits right with with freedom of speech you have the truth card this is you telling the truth or your person telling a truth okay when it comes to the truth card Check in with and trust your intuition. All three of these cards are saying the same things. Someone is hiding something from you with this deception here. Admit the truth before someone else does, right? This is speaking the truth. Live and speak your truth. Fertility. A long-awaited pregnancy is confirmed. A birth is announced. Acknowledge your ideas. A new venture is successful. Your hard work has paid off. It's time to celebrate. Okay? Now with this, the deception probably could have been that someone went and had a child on this soulmate. That's what happened. Okay? And they want to come back and they want to say they're sorry for it. Right? They want to act in their queen of cups. In their... In their Queen of Cups um, to this person that was their Queen of Cups, right? They want to show them loyalty and they want to show them that they're sorry for what they've done. They're at a crossroads. They've been at a crossroads. They've been staying up late at night with the spirit of Hecate, all right? Just, just, just having a hard time sleeping or resting. And they want to show compassion to the person that they hurt and they want to have compassion back from the person that they hurt, right? They want this person they're hoping and praying that the person that, that got hurt here is open, okay? So it's safe to open up to others. And emotional upheaval is healed. They want to have healing with someone. They want to see another person's point of view or they want this person that was hurt to see their point of view, to honor their feelings, right? Someone needs your support. There are lessons to learn, right? There may be some lessons here. With this home card, a house sale goes through. Someone's trying to make themselves at home. Put your boundaries in place. Clear out any clutter. Someone may be moving, okay, as well. Someone may be changing their home. Someone may be getting a new home. Someone may be getting a new foundation, Meaning they want to have a new foundation with someone else. Maybe want to live with that person as well. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. pregnancy is confirmed here somebody was pregnant or someone is pregnant now there's a baby here okay and someone's very uncomfortable about this pregnancy whether it be you or someone else someone is not happy about it at all and someone may be walking away from someone else okay pisces this has been your message Send a love and light to all, okay? Um, if anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below. Thank you so much.